if the Fed is planning on getting rid of LIBOR and removing banks as the middlemen, why are we not hearing any gripes, moans, complaints from the big banks? Well, I think you are. I mean, they're they're just flat out refusing to use LIBOR. Or I'm sorry, you, you're talking about SOFR. I, I'm getting mixed up here. They're, they're just refusing to use SOFR and they're only using LIBOR. So they're basically not just griping, they're giving the Fed and the, the, the central banks the, the middle finger. <laughs> they're saying, no, no, screw your stupid SOFR. We're not going to use it. We're only going to use LIBOR and we're going to continue to use LIBOR. And unless you want this, the whole thing to crash in on itself, then you better you better get rid of this SOFR thing or this SOFR idea. It seems as though there's kind of a, a Mexican standoff here <laughs> where they, none of them, neither of them want to back down. And we'll see. I mean, the, the central banks keep pounding the table that you got to change, you got to change, you got to change. And the banks keep saying, okay, F you, we're not going to change and we're just going to keep doing what we have been doing with LIBOR. So I was listening to a podcast with my good buddy, Jeff Snyder and Emil Kalinowski the other day. And Jeff was saying that it's not even a matter of if they want to change to SOFR. He said it's a matter of they can't. They just simply can't. SOFR is not set up to have to, to give the type of information. He was talking about the term structure, that the term structure just isn't complete with SOFR. And that even if the banks wanted to switch from LIBOR over there, they, they couldn't. So um, it, it's just a matter, it, it's just in the feds just to, they've got their head in the sand and they really don't understand how the whole system works. And they don't understand it well enough to know that that's not a solution. So what will probably happen is we get closer and closer to this 2021 deadline is the, the powers that be in the banking world will probably meet with the Fed and say, listen, Here's what you guys don't understand about SOFR and LIBOR. And all of a sudden, the central banks, they'll kind of change their tune or they'll somehow uh, you know, create a hybrid between the two or something like that.